All right, everybody. Here is the third and final video video of this mulberry uh, short-handled ladle. And so, basically, we're going to do a little bit of work in the bowl just to do some refinements, maybe some work on this back end here, and uh, just kind of tidy up the handle here. And I'm going to start working on this nail. Set my little timer here. Hopefully this won't be too long. So basically, we're going to um, just try to add some bevels here. Let me put my gloves on. I'm going to add some bevels and just do some little refinements to this uh, spoon that I see fit. I'm just trying to look at this here. Well, let me. This wood is really drying out, so I gotta hurry up and work on this stuff as quick as possible. So we're just gonna. Hmm. Go down here and add a little bevel just to kind of soften those edges as we like to do. That's what we're going to do. So when I, uh, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to uh, come back when I have a little bit more done or when I'm ready to work on another part of the uh, spoon. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add some bevels, um, maybe thin this out a little bit here. We'll see and uh, be right back. All right, guys. All right, everybody, I'm back. So I didn't do too much um, here, but it may not look like I did much here on camera, but I did, I kind of beveled these uh, edges here on the back as well, just to kind of soften them up. And so what we're going to do now, I'll try to bring you guys a little closer, is, um, and hopefully you can see all the work that I'll be doing. Let me just see. I'm going to work on the uh, edge here. You can't see anything. Um, the light in here is horrible. I'm going to work on the edge and just kind of smooth that out. And basically, everything is going to be knife finished or tool finished except for the, uh, the inside. I'm going to actually sand that very smooth just so... Um, I guess when you go to use it, uh, it'll be, you know, easier to clean, I guess. So, um, let me take a look at this here, and I just want to do, a couple little refinements here. Sometimes just a little subtle differences makes a big difference, you know. Here. Sometimes there's little nicks here. I'm not going to be sanding this whole thing, just parts of it. Let me just make sure it's not rough. Just kind of scrape it away. That's what I'm doing there. Hmm. Some parts are still a little tricky for me, um, and that's part of the learning process, you know, just still working on uh, 
certain parts of the spoon, and I guess it, you know, never will totally be uh, done. So I'm just going to do a little bit of work here to show you guys. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just going to kind of flatten out, and I want to get rid of that pencil, those pencil marks as well. It's re really a reason why I'm doing that. I mean, ideally those will probably be sanded, but... There's some high, some high spots in here I want to get rid of as well. So I'm just going to continue doing this, guys, and when there's more done, I'll uh, be right back, okay? Be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. And we're pretty much done this piece. I'm going to do some work here with the spoon knife. So, again, you're probably not going to really be able to tell in this... Um, footage here, but I did some beveling here. Uh, it's not great, but it uh, just ever so slightly um, softens the edge there. And there's the back there. It's hard to tell. It looks a lot better in person. I mean, it's pretty good. I think this will be a very useful tool. So in any event, right now I'm going to just kind of clean up the bowl here, maybe just Kind of take some more material out of the sides here a little bit and I'll show some of this work here on camera and I'll try to smooth out um, anything here on the bottom I'm gonna want to go well I have a lot more room to go but we're not going to go really any deeper than this um, Main thing is just kind of try to clean up anything. Less work for the sanding part of this part of it when I uh, go to sand. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Tilt this down a little bit more. There we go. Now just ever so slightly taking that little curved piece of the spoon knife just getting some of that edge there of the bowl of the spoon now, I'm always amazed at some of the other uh, spoon carvers that can you know really work the piece of wood so elegantly where I mean they can really get a super fine finish without you know any sandpaper or anything it's really truly amazing uh, the skill level of uh, these people So just being very careful. And take some out from the front here. Just a little bit. I think for a nice utility piece here, I think it's it's turning out pretty nice, you know. Um It's really all about developing your style. I do like to carve, obviously. Um, but I also just want these pieces to be used 
and um, you know that's kind of why my style is kind of the way it is you know if they're not uh, so I'll say elegantly carved some of these pieces they're they're kind of uh, I don't know if it's generic looking maybe I'm being too hard on myself but um, I mean, I do like my style, and I know other people appreciate it, and I appreciate that. Everybody has their own style, which is uh, the great thing. I don't think one style is better than the other. Let me just look at this here. Turning out pretty good. I'm just going to do a little bit of work here. This wood is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it really, really is. So that's all we're doing here is we're just kind of ever so carefully and slowly getting rid of some of these high spots. It's kind of getting at a weird angle here. So, I think, guys, I think, I think, I think this is ready for sanding in the bowl. Now, I'm just going to do inside the bowl only. So, let me uh, just kind of clean this up a little bit more. And um, uh, I guess I'll come back when this is pretty much done. I guess when this is all sanded and uh, we'll be right back. All right. All right, everybody. I should have put the uh, flash on. Sorry. Sun went down. So here is the finished product. And I will post some photos to Instagram as well so you guys will get a better sense of what it looks like um, you know the the camera really doesn't do it justice it actually turned out very very nice I'm very pleased with this and we just have a coating of linseed oil and a little bit of beeswax in there as well and I'll apply several more coats um, to this but man, uh, like I said, if you guys uh, have Instagram, go over to Instagram uh, tonight or whenever uh, <laughs> you feel like it. It'll this uh, spoon will be featured on there as well, so you'll see you can see some uh, uh, probably some better pictures of it. But this is what it is: straight handled uh, ladle, and essentially it's kind of like a big giant uh, long handled scoop, but you know, it's uh, for cooking. So, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone that has subscribed and uh, sticking with these videos. I know they can be kind of boring, but uh, I just like to show some of the process of things. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching and commenting. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, catch you on the next one. All right, guys. See ya.